Oh, hey guys. Today we're going to do a a quick uh, resolution on, on a customer of mine. She actually came in with a, a new gaming build that she was having problems with uh, installing Windows. And the exact error that she was getting was this one here. As you can see, the error code 0x, C as in Charlie, and then six zeros, and then the number five. Um, she kept getting that when she was doing a brand new Windows 10 installation. And it didn't matter if she was using Windows 11 imaging disk that she had that she actually bought from the, the retailers. She still she would still get the same error. So then she told me she, that he, she had tried a, a Windows 10 imaging disk that she downloaded from Microsoft also. And, and then created a bootable disk through her flash drive by using that. And then she still got the same error. So this is to resolve this. Um, so if you're actually at this area here, all you have to simply do to fix this problem is that all you have to do is just hold down your shift key on your keyboard and then press uh, press the the F10 key, which is the function 10, the F10 key at the same time. So shift F10, what's going to happen is that what you're going to see is that the command prompt is going to show up and overlap your Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation. So the first command that you want to do is uh, what you want to do is just type in the word this part because right here this is going to be all of the steps you're going to see so you can literally just freeze it at or pause it at this you know uh, at the screen if if you can't follow through but i'll do it very step by step so that you guys will be able to fix this without any issues so the first command that you're going to type in is just disk part which you can see right here just follow my cursor and and that's literally the best way for you guys to follow it step by step so once you type in disk part disk part just press enter and then it's going to literally bring you to the disk, you know, uh, part, uh, the root menu. So once you come here, all you have to do is type in the next command would be list disk. Make sure that there's a space in between the two words, list disk, and press enter. And then after you press enter, this is what you're going to see here. And you're going to see that in, in this in this build here, there's a two terabyte SSD, and then there's also a 500 gig SSD. And then this 28 gigabyte drive is, is actually my Windows 10 imaging disk. So you just ignore that. So disk two, you just ignore it because as you can see here for the two terabyte is labeled as disk zero. And then the 500 gig SSD, the second one is, is labeled as disk one. So because she wants to install the windows 10 in her, in her, uh, her two terabyte drive, her Samsung drive. So we're going to be choosing disk zero in this, you know, in, in this step here. So just remember that if you guys have more than one SSD that's actually in your configuration and then you have, say, one or two backup, you know, a three and a half inch mechanical drives, just make sure that you choose the, you choose the proper partition to to uh, to make use for this Windows install, because if you don't, it's, it's not going to be it's not going to be a readable drive afterwards. You know, so just just remember that, you know, so. Um, so the best thing to do is make sure that you 100% verify that the drive that you are choosing in these steps that we're doing is going to be the drive that you want to install Windows in. And like I said, again, this will be disk zero because it's a two terabyte drive that she wants to install a Windows 10 in. So and then after that, you know, if you go back to this step here, just follow my cursor under disk part. What you're going to do is because the two terabyte drive is disk zero, we're going to type in the word select space disk space zero. And then all you do is you press enter. And then right after that, as soon as you press enter, it's going to say disk zero is now the selected disk. And then once you go come back to the disk part, you know, the root, all you have to type in is, the, is another command. Type in a spell, the uh, type down the word clean, press enter, and then it's going to say that disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. And then your last step you're going to do is under disk part, type in another command, which is going to be convert MBR. And then once you do that, just press enter is going to say disk part successfully converted the selected disk to the MBR format. And then right after that, you're going to come back to, if you look at the bottom left here, it's going to come back to the, the main disk part root menu. All you have to type in is, is the, the command exit twice, because once you type in the first time, it, it, it's going to not exit the, 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 the command prompt, you know, so you press enter and the first time you can type in the, the command exit, you will be fine and then type it again type in exit again and then it will actually exit out of this command prompt so that you can actually go to your to your hard disk so so that you guys can relate this screen this two terabyte the 500 gig into the normals windows screen this is what you will see so at least this guy you guys won't make a mistake so if you look at this two terabyte you know and the 500 gig you're going to see exactly here the only reason why you're seeing these two additional partitions once you've exited the command prompt is because she did attempt the Windows install 
which I'm going to redo fresh for her again. So the first thing to do is these two small partitions that you see, select each one at a time and then go down to your delete button and delete both of these two here. So remember, you know, um, you don't don't touch the other one. Just 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 remember that this 500 gig is, is untouched because this is my own that I actually had to use for testing just to make sure the other things weren't wrong. So in this situation here, you know, you know, once you delete these two here, also choose this two terabyte and delete it. And then the only thing that you will actually see is just these two partitions left once you delete everything. So remember, delete partition one, partition two and partition three. You know, and then so that you can restart the installation, because if you just delete these two partitions here and not partition three, it will give you an error that Windows cannot be installed in this partition until you delete it. So remember that, right? Delete partitions one, two and three. And let's say if this is, you know, your your backup drive, that's 500 gig or one terabyte or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Just make sure that you don't touch it if it has data on there, you know, so just and then once you have the the, the large two terabyte, you know, uh, deleted just go to create new, you'll see the new here. And then it will ask you to validate and verify that you want to use the whole two terabyte as a as a single partition, just choose yes, and just follow through the Windows installation. And as you can see here, I, I kind of just skipped the step through because I wanted to show you guys that it did install Windows 10 perfectly. So on the restart here to avoid having to this this reloop of an, a new Windows 10 install or Windows 11 install, once you click on the restart, after it installs the Windows files and stuff, it's going to say, you know, it's going to restart in 10 seconds, press any key. What you do is once you click on restart now or press any key on your keyboard, it's going to, the screen's, the system's going to restart. Once the screen blacks out or blanks out, just make sure you pull out the USB flash drive that you have your Windows 10 or 11 installed this or, or your image, pull it out of your USB port to avoid having the system trying to reinstall Windows 10 again, because it can actually do that. Sometimes it does that. A lot of times it doesn't. It's like a 50-50 shot for some reason because I've seen it happen. So just remember that to avoid that, just, you know, once the screen blanks out after you click on restart now, just unplug your or pull out your uh, your USB flash, your, your imaging flash drive, and you'd be good to go. Then as you can see here, you know, I'm at the Windows 10, you know, so and that resolved the issue and it's guaranteed to work. You know, if you guys actually have any any questions or any comments, just, you know, just, just you know, type it in and put it down on, on the comments and, please like the video and subscribe guys. You know, I hope this helps you guys out. You know, like I said, again, if you guys need any help or anything else, just type in the comments and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Have a good day. Cheers.